Latrice Moran here with Kingdom Sniper Institute. In the course offering, Dismantling the Orphan Spirit, we will deal with an area that has gone widely unaddressed in the body of Christ. And this spirit affects our prayers. It even affects the way that we approach God. And that is the orphan spirit. Um, when Jesus, when the disciples asked Jesus the question, Lord, teach us how to pray in the book of Luke, Jesus started the prayer with these words, our Father. And so God, when we come to God in prayer, when we come to God, we come to him as a son and a father. We come to him as a daughter and a father. So the orphan spirit could show up what it can look like in manifestation. It can look like abandonment. It can look like rejection. And we have to understand that God is not like man. In the course offering Dismantling the Orphan Spirit, we will deal with what it means to be a son, the benefits of sonship, the benefits of having a true covenant with the Father who will never leave you nor forsake you. In the course offering Dismantling the Orphan Spirit. Being released in your life, a new sound of breakthrough that's being released in your life, a new sound of breakthrough and revival is being released in your mouth. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Give Him glory. Open up your mouth and give Him glory. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Hey, God, that's the sound of victory. Yes. God. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of a release. That's the sound of a release. I got my release and I got my power back. Oh, That's the sound of breakthrough. That's the sound of breakthrough for your children. That's the sound of breakthrough for the men attached to your last name. That's the sound of revival. I hear a sound concerning my babies. I don't care what the enemy says. It doesn't matter what the media says. I hear a sound from heaven. I hear a sound from heaven. I hear a sound from heaven.
let me know let me know you can hear me can you hear me now can you hear me now if you can hear me give me a one if you can hear me give me a one hallelujah good morning good morning Gilliard. good morning good morning the sound went out okay just let me know when it comes back in good morning good morning good morning still no sound hallelujah glory to god let me know you can hear me if you can hear me now if you can hear me please give me a one hey deshauna good morning amen glory to god Let's go. Glory to God. Father, we bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in on the Awakening Prayer Line. Good morning. Y'all come in sharing. Good morning. Come in sharing. Good morning. Come in sharing. Giving God glory. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We bless him. He is awesome. We bless him. You are mighty. We bless him. Come on in and start sharing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Kim. I'm so glad to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. As you are logging in, log in sharing. Log in giving God glory. As you are logging in, log in magnifying the name of Jesus. As you are logging in, log in giving God what we owe him. This is the Awakening Prayer Call and y'all know how we pray. We pray the word of God first. We pray the word. We pray. We worship. We worship. We set the atmosphere. We set the tone that is conducive, that is right for miracles. Let your home hear the sound of your worship. Let your home hear the sound of your travail. Let your home hear the sound of breakthrough let your home wake up your neighbors with the sound of worship wake up your neighbors with the sound of prayer wake up your neighbors with the sound that reaches heaven in the name of Jesus so we worship because worship sets the tone for miracle signs and wonders worship removes all of the distractions worship removes all of the heaviness worship gets you in a divine agreement with what heaven what God wants to do in the earth realm so we begin to worship I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth we begin to worship and so begin to worship the Lord worship the Lord with the fruit of your lips worship the Lord with the clapping of your hands do not if you feel yourself getting tired don't bring your prayer energy down don't bring the prayer level down don't bring the prayer fire down but you get up and you walk around in your house you walk around in your space you walk around at work you do whatever it takes glory be to God to pray in and to release pressure hallelujah the power of God in the earth realm hallelujah we as we are worshiping we are not worshiping we are not fighting or praying from a place of uh, up from from trying to reach victory but we are praying from from victory we are seated in heavenly places we already have the victory so as we are worshiping as we are praying we are not begging we are not negotiating we are not yielding we are not submitting Submitting, we are not coming down, we are not agreeing with what the enemy says, but we agree with what God says concerning our lives. We agree with the word of God, we agree with the power of God, we agree with the presence of God, we agree that will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and we agree with heaven. We agree, Rebecca Shaya, that by his stripes we are healed. We agree. That we are the head and not the tail. Come on, people of God. We agree. Hallelujah. We agree that we are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the field. We are blessed when we go in. We are blessed when we come out. We agree that God is greater than any power. We agree that we shall never be defeated. Yes, we agree that we will never be defeated. We will never be bound. We will never be a slave. We will never be broken. We will never be wounded. We will never be sick. We will never be bound. We agree, Shekinah that if God be for me, he is greater than any wickedness. He is greater than any voodoo. He is greater than any burden. He is greater than any problem against us. We agree that God is greater than that. Come on. Who do you say that he is? Some men call him wonderful some men call him counselor but we call on the name of the Lord thy God 
So we worship Rebekah. We worship. We praise. We give God the glory. We give him the honor. All the honor is due to him. All the glory is due to him. When we worship, after we worship, we pray the word of God. <laughs> we pray the word of God. And we pray the word of God for we know that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is Lord over all. We pray the word of God. Hallelujah. If you want to bag the enemy up, you bag him up with the word of God. Glory to God. After we pray the word of God, we go into warfare. Hallelujah. We go into warfare. So let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's go. Begin to worship. Father, you are awesome. Father, you are mighty. Father, you are everlasting. You are the great I am. You are the Lord, oh my God. You are the Lord, my king. You are the Lord, my ruler. You are the Lord, my redeemer. You are the Lord, my savior. We praise you for you are holy. We thank you for you are sovereign. We thank you for you are everlasting. We thank you, Father, for we have searched all over and we cannot find another like you. There is none like you. No one like you, Father. You get all the glory glory. You get all the praise. You are worthy. You are mighty. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are worthy to be adored. And we bless your holy name for you are God. You are king. You are ruler. You are everlasting. You are strong. You are mighty. You are my friend. You are my father. You are my helper. You are my keeper. And you are my redeemer. We thank you God because beside you there is none other. We praise you from the rise of the sun to the going down of the same. Your name is awesome and your name is worthy to be praised. We thank you for you are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. You are my advocate. You are my bread of life. You are my bread of heaven. You are my soon coming king. You are my Lord. You are my shepherd. You are my redeemer. You are my battle axe. You are my strength. You are my joy. You are my peace. You are my revival. You are my, oh God, you are my everything everything and we bless you who do you say that he is who do you say that he is who is he to you? What it am I Messiah? Who is he to you? We worship you, God, not for what you've done. We worship you for who you are. We are not seeking you for the fish and the loaves, but we praise you because you are awesome. We praise you because you are mighty. We praise you because you are the beloved son. You are my deliverer. You are my mighty Messiah. You are my chief cornerstone. You are the stone that the builders rejected. You are the risen savior. You are my king and you are my Lord. Lord, we bless your holy name. We adore you, Father. We lift your name up on high. We bless you. We might we we lean unto you, for you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are Jehovah Mekadesh. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that strengthened, and you are the God that healed. You are my deliverer. You are my heavy load sharer. You are my burden bearer. You are my yoke breaker. You are God, my King. You are my Lord. You are my secret keeper. You are my shoulder. You are my hiding place. You are my safety place. You are my pavilion. You are my refuge. You are my strength. Ha! And I bless your name and I praise your name for beside you there is none other. You healeth God. You delivereth God. You make the way for you are the way and you are the truth and you are the light and we praise you that you are strong. We thank you God that in you there's victory. We we praise you, God, that in you there's deliverance. We thank you, God, that in you every need is supplied. We praise you, God, that in you every, every need is met. We thank you, God, that in you every chain is broken. We praise you, God, that in you every yoke is destroyed. We thank you, God, that in you, Father, we have light in dark places. And we praise you for light being in dark places. We thank you, God, for light right now. We thank you, God, for strength. We thank you, God, for strength. We thank you, Father, for joy. We thank you for peace. We thank you for long suffering. We thank you for love. We thank you for God. You are God. And beside you, there is none other. And we praise your name. And we bless your name. And we adore you. And we lift you up. And we, oh God, we shabak you. You are mighty. You are matchless. There is none like you. You are in a class all by yourself. No 
one can compare to you. No one can compare to your goodness. No one can reach you, God. You are, you don't have an equal. You don't have a rival. But you are sovereign. You are my sovereign, God. You are my sovereign king. There is no rival, God. There is no equal, oh God. You have no nemesis. You have no one on your level. And we praise you, Father. And we bless you, God. And we adore you, God. For there is none like you. Nobody can bless like you. Nobody can heal like you. None can save like you. None can deliver like you. None can make the way like you. None can do it like you. And you are awesome. And you are omnipotent. You are everywhere at the same time. And we bless you, Father. For you are right here with me. And you are right here with them. And we bless you, God. That your hand is not short. Your ear is not deaf. You are not senile. You are not hard of hearing. You have no dementia. God, you remember, God. You remember your word. And you are faithful to perform your word. And we praise you, God, that your word is faithful. And we thank you, God, for you cannot lie. You cannot relent. Whatever you say, God, it is so. Whatever you release, oh God, it is so. Whatever you see, God, it is so. When you send us, it is so. God, we praise you. For God, we got you. And we shall not fail. We cannot fail. We will not fall. We will not be defeated. We will not succumb. We will not be overcome. We will not overcome. We will not be conquered. But we praise you, oh God, that by your mighty stripes and by your mighty power, we are more than conquerors. And we praise you, Father. And we thank you, God, that you have given us life and that life more abundantly. And we bless your name and we adore you, Father, that God, through you, we can run through troops and we can leap over walls and we praise your God and we glorify you that God through you we can do all things and we bless your name that that you will withhold no good thing from your people and we bless you God that you are doing a new thing and it shall spring forth we praise your God hallelujah that we can forget about the former things neither consider the things of old for God you shall do a new thing and now it shall spring forth we praise your God that God you are releasing mighty winds you are releasing a mighty fire you are releasing a mighty war you are releasing a mighty word and we praise you now in the name of Jesus for God you are you are God and you're doing a new thing you're doing a new thing in the women of God you're doing a new thing in the men of God you're doing a new thing in the children and we praise you father that we don't have to go back and look at the and rehearse what you've done in the past for God you're doing a new thing and now it shall spring forth you are releasing new fire and new oil and it shall spring forth you are releasing new purpose and it shall spring forth you are releasing new oil and it shall spring forth. You are releasing God new revelation and it shall spring forth. We praise your God that nothing will hold us back. Nothing will hold us captive. Nothing will hold us sacred. Nothing will hold us down. We give you glory God and we give you praise oh God that out of the ashes we shall arise. We glorify you God and we magnify you God that you are causing us to arise out of poverty. You are causing us to arise out of brokenness. You are causing us to arise out of the wilderness. We give you praise, oh God, that these your people who were born in the wilderness, they shall obtain the promised land. We give you glory, Father, and we give you praise, oh God, that you are causing your people to arise out of systems, to arise out of oppression. We praise you now, God, that you are breaking the neck of bondage and the neck of poverty. We bless your holy name, God, that you are breaking every yoke and chain, every chain and fetter. We give your glory, God, that you are breaking right now every plan of the enemy. God, we praise you now that it breaks right now every demonic curse. It breaks right now every stronghold. It breaks right now every soul tie. It breaks right now every generational curse. It breaks right now every demonic doctrine, every demonic decree that is issued.
you by the enemy. It breaks right now. Every demonic altar with the names of our family and the names of our bloodline on every demonic altar. We break it now in the name of Jesus. We release right now the blood of Jesus over every demonic altar in the name of Jesus. God, we wash out our names on demonic altars from generations down to generations from a thousand generations where our name was on the altar. God, we break it now. We wash it out with the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. We plead the mighty blood. We plead the blood of Jesus over our bloodline, over our last name. We plead the blood of Jesus over our bloodline. We plead the blood of Jesus over our health. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood over every systemic, over every bloodline curse. We plead the blood in the name of Jesus. The blood right now, the blood covers, the blood washes, the blood cleanses, the blood keeps, and the blood delivers. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood and we call down fire. Hey, fire of God in the name of Jesus over every demonic plot. We call down the God that answers by fire over every demonic plan. We call down the fire of God in the name of Jesus. We call it down the fire of God in the name of Jesus. The fire of God. Wash right now. The fire of God. Burn up every plot. Burn up every demonic plot. Burn up every demonic plan. Burn up every demonic platoon. Burn up every demonic assignment. The blood, the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. We call it down. Fire over sickness. We call it down. Wherever the enemy is plotting up against us. We call down the fire of the most high God. To destroy the plans. In the name of Jesus. We break the legs off of demonic dogs that pick up our scent in the spirit realm. Every eavesdropping demon, every struggle shy, every demon in disguise, we destroy it now. In the name of Jesus, we come against, hey, we come against, yes, God, secret sabotage. In the name of Jesus, from every demonic plot that's trying to stop the people of God, we come against right now. Demonic assignments in the name of Jesus. We dismantle every plan sent by the enemy in the name of Jesus. We dismantle every plan sent by Satan and every and every principality. We dismantle every snake sent by the enemy to choke out the people of God. We dismantle it now. We cut off the head. We cut off the tail of every python that's trying to choke you, trying to frustrate you from your divine purpose. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare that no weapon, no voodoo, no hoodoo, no witchcraft, no demonic plot will be able to stop your people. We decree, we declare that the people of God are moving forward, are going stronger in the name of Jesus. I command your strength to come back to your body. I command your strength to come back in your space. I command with every weak area in the name of Jesus, every weakness in your life, every weakness in your ministry, financial weaknesses be destroyed in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that God is lifting you up in the name of Jesus. Whatever was eating away your miracle, whatever was eating away your breakthrough, whatever was eating away your assignment, we destroy every termite in the spirit realm. We destroy every rat in the spirit realm. We destroy every dog. In the spirit realm, every demonic pot, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. It won't touch you, it won't hit you, it won't find you. We command that you are untraceable in the spirit realm. Oh, you are untraceable, you can't be found. The devil can't see you, he can't hit what he cannot see. We probably will shy. 
dry. You are covered. He can't find you. He can't see you. He can't pick you up in the spirit realm. We confuse every demonic channel that was picking you up in the name of Jesus. We confuse it in Jesus' name. We declare that they will not pick you up in the spirit realm. We confuse that the devil don't know which way you're going. The devil don't know what your next step is. The devil don't know what your next plan is. We command in the name of Jesus that the devil is confused. We jumble up. We jumble up every channel sent by the enemy. He will not be able to hear shy, to hear your prayers, to stop your miracle, to stop your tracks. We erect, yes God, we insert detours for the enemy in the name of Jesus. We turn every roadblock on the head of the demons and the devil. We turn every roadblock on Satan's head in the name of Jesus. God, you do it. You do it, God. Launch us forward. Take us deeper. Take us higher. Take us stronger. In the name of Jesus, we command that you are moving in natural speed. We command you are going in a speed that the devil can't keep up. I command supernatural momentum, supernatural force, supernatural velocity. In the name of Jesus, you will arrive at your destination quicker than you thought. In the name of Jesus, hey! Yeah, yeah, boy, shy, yeah. You're getting there quicker than you thought. 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 Here it is. Here it is. You're going there quicker than you thought. You're getting there quicker than you thought. Mother will shy. You're going to rise quicker than you thought. You're going to get there faster than you thought. You're going to rise sooner than you thought. I hear the Lord saying, I'm taking some time off of your arrival time. My will shy. You're going to get there quicker than you thought. Watch this, y'all. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, Lord, I saw you. Put it in the scripture, put it in the comments right now. The Bible says in our first Kings, first Kings, here it is. The Bible says in first Kings 18 verses 45. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. The Bible says, whoo, good, my God. The Bible says first Kings 18. Let's start at verse 43. We're going to go down to verse 46. <laughs> yeah. The Bible says, here it is. You're going to get there quicker than you thought. The Bible says, 1 Kings 18, verses 43, going down to verse 46. The Bible says, Yee! And the and the servant, and said his servant, and said his servant, go up, and said to his servant. This is the prophet Elijah. He is talking to his servant. Now watch this, y'all. There had been a drought. Oh, my God. There was no rain. There was no moisture. There was no dew. There was a drought. They had not seen. The people of God had not seen. Glory be to God. They had not seen. Everybody was experiencing a drought. There was a drought in the land because God laid upon the man of God to pronounce her. there will be no rain and there will be no dew except at my command. Y'all don't know when to shout. Here it is. Elijah. Elijah, here it is, Elijah prophesying a drought. Now watch this, he prophesied this drought back in uh, 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 17. He prophesied the drought, right? And so here it is, uh, 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 Elijah sitting here, I say Elijah, now wait a minute, you're going to prophesy this drought, right? You're going to speak this drought over the land. Don't you know that you're going to be affected by the drought too? Now you're speaking a drought on the land. Don't you know, do you realize that this drought is going to affect you too? Y'all don't know when to shout. Do you realize that not not only is King Ahab going to receive a drought, but you're going to experience a drought too. You will be affected by the drought too. Do you realize that when you say, when, when you release this drought, it ain't like your land ain't going to dry up too. Do you realize this? Elijah said, Tracy, watch this. You don't know the kind of God I serve. I said, okay, Elijah, show me. And so here it is. He speaks this drought and a drought comes, right? Everything dries up. There is no rain. There is no dew. And, and for years, not just for weeks, not just for days, not just for months, but it 
place for years, there is a drought. But watch what God does. My God in heaven, watch what God does. God allows a raven. God allows a raven who is in by nature. The, the raven in nature is a stingy bird. The raven in nature is a selfish bird. The raven by nature, the way that the raven is wired, he is wired to be selfish. He is wired to be stingy. He is wired. A mama raven will feed herself first before feeding her own babies. A raven is wired to be selfish. A raven is wired to be, my God, stingy. But God makes Made. And when, when God's hand is upon your life, even though you speak a drought, eekha, even though there's a drought in the land, it will not affect you. Even though y'all don't know when to shout, even though there's a drought in the land, it will not come upon you. Now he, God allowed a raven to turn against its nature and to provide for the man of God. The Bible says that the raven brought him food daily. The Bible says that the raven provided for him daily. Let me tell you some people of God. It does not matter what's going on on the outside. It does not matter what's happening on the outside. God said, I will make something turn against its own nature just to provide for you. God said, I will make something turn against its own character just to provide for you. Because when my hand is on your life, my God, when my spirit is resting upon you, when my hand is on your life, the rules that apply to other people don't even apply to you. Y'all don't know when to shout. The rules that apply to other people don't even apply to you. I got more scripture to bag it up. The Bible says in Exodus the ninth chapter verses 25 through 26. I want to read it from the amplified version. The Bible says in Exodus the ninth chapter. Watch this y'all. Verses 25 through 26. The Bible says and hell struck down everything that was in the field throughout all the land of Egypt. Both man and animal the hell struck and beat down all the plants in the field, all the trees were shattered in the field, only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel lived, there was no hell. Y'all don't know when to shout. The Bible says hell hit, hit all of Egypt, hell hit all of the land, except for where the children of Israel were, except for where God's people were, except for who God, hell hit all around him, but all of a sudden hell said when I come to the children of Israel I can't touch them because God's hand is upon their life when God's hand is upon your life it don't matter what's going on around you it don't matter what's falling down around you hell can fall on everywhere else but it cannot hit your house my God death can strike everywhere else but it cannot hit your house demons can come everywhere else but it cannot hit your house I need somebody to get in the comments and decree over your life you can can't touch this. You can't touch this. I don't care. Try what you want, devil, but you can't touch this. You can't touch my house. You can't touch my children. You can't touch my livelihood. My livelihood. You can't touch my livestock. You can't touch my possessions. You can't touch this because the hand of God is on my life. You didn't put it there and you can't take his hand off of my life. You can't touch this. It don't matter what's going on in the economy. The devil can't touch this. It don't matter what's happening around you. The devil can't touch this. The Bible says that the seventh plague was the plague of hell. Hell fell everywhere in Egypt, but it did not fall in Goshen because Goshen is the place where God protects. Goshen is the place that God said, I got my hand on. Can I tell somebody in here, my God, that God is protecting you? I don't care what's going on around you. I don't care what's falling around you. I don't care what's out there around you. You can breathe it in, but it won't kill you. You can have it, but you won't die from it. My God in heaven, you can have it and God will let you live with it. God will let you prosper with it. And it won't be able to take you out. Because when the hand of God is on your life, certain rules don't apply to you. The Bible says that I will keep you in perfect peace. As long as your mind is stayed on me, I will keep you in perfect peace. Y'all, I'm about to run. I will keep you in perfect peace as long as your mind is stayed on me. So the Bible says, I 
let me go back to my text. I got to go. So the Bible says, and he said to his servant, go up now. Look toward the sea. Y'all don't know when to shout. Go up. And he went up. And he looked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I go there, watch this, y'all. Let me tell y'all what else happened in this text here. In verse 17, the Bible says, watch this, y'all. While there was a famine in the land, uh, the prophet Elijah, in verse 17, he ran upon a widow woman. Oh, my God. He ran upon a widow woman. The Bible says he ran upon a widow woman, the widow of Zarephath. Uh -huh. The Bible says, he said, God God told, God tells, God tells the prophet Elijah, he said, arise, go down to Zarephath, for I have provided a widow there for you. My God, and she's going to look after you. The Bible says, and that, that's in verse 9. And so the Bible says, and he went, in verse 10, so he arose, he went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, there was a woman there gathering sticks, and he called to her, and he said, fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her, he said, and bring me a little morsel of bread. Lord, help me in here. He said, and, now hold on now. If we, here we are, sir. We're in a famine. Now, sir, I, I, I got to talk from the wolf for the widow. Now, here the widow is saying, now hold on now, sir. Now, here we are. We're in a famine. Water is already scarce. Supplies are already scarce. Resources are already scarce. Y'all don't know when to shout. Resources are already scarce. We already don't have enough. And you asking me to give you the little bit that I do have. Sir, what is wrong with you? We are already in a famine. Resources are scarce. Help is scarce. They say they running out of coins. Y'all don't know when to shout. They say they running out of things. Y'all don't know when to shout. They say they running out of money. Y'all don't know when to shout. They say don't use only use your debit card because there is a there is a shortage of coins there is a shortage of cash there is a shortage of supplies on hand now sir here you are you asking me for a couple of coins and don't you know that we are in a pandemic don't you know that we are in a scarcity where coins where things are scarce lord have mercy don't you know that we are in a place where things are scarce and you sitting here asking me to provide for you and here I am a widow I don't even have a husband I don't even have somebody providing for me and here you are asking for what I got little did this woman know that Elijah was setting her up little did this woman know that Elijah was setting her up for a miracle little did this woman know that Elijah was setting this a woman up for a breakthrough little did this woman know that Elijah was setting her up that her life was getting ready to change the Bible says and she said the Bible says in verse 12 he asked her for a cake the Bible said in verse 12 and she said as the Lord God live I I have not a cake. All I got is a little bit of meal in a barrel and I have a little bit of oil in a cruise. Behold, I'm gathering these sticks so that I may go and dress it, make me and my son a cake so we can eat it and die. Here this woman is. She is at the end of her rope. <laughs> this woman is at the place where she says, I'm not going to come out of this. This woman is at the place where she feels like things cannot get any better. This woman is at the place where she is saying, I'm about to make my last meal. This is the last meal for me and my son. We are about to eat it and we're going to die. We're going to die from a famine. We're going to die from this place. We're not going to make it out of here. I'm about to eat this last thing and we're going to die. Y'all don't know where to shout. I'm about to eat this last thing and we're going to die. The prophet tells this woman, Elijah says to her in verse 13, Fear not. Go and do what you said you was going to do. But here's what you're going to do first. You are going to make me a little bit of cake first. Bring it to me. And after that, make thee for, your, for you and your son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Your barrel of meal shall not waste. Your crude of oil shall not fail until the Lord and rain upon the land. He said, go on and make your cake, woman. Go on and do what you're going to do. But this is what you're going to do first. <laughs> you're going to make one for me first. Then you're going to feed you and your son. And the Lord says, I'm going to make sure that you have more than enough, not just enough. I'm going to make sure that you have more than enough while you are in this famine. I'm going to make sure that your oil don't rot, don't, your oil don't drift, don't fail while you in this famine. I'm going to make sure that your flower does not fail while you in this famine. Y'all don't know when to shout. God says, if you just do for me, whoosh, God says, if you just trust me, if you just put me first, if you just put it in my hand first, take it out of your hand, put it in my hand, and I'm going to make sure that your barrels never run out. I'm going to make 
make sure that your, if your wells never run dry. I'm going to make sure that you will have more than enough while you in a pandemic. See, some of y'all got this testimony. I got more in a pandemic than I had without the pandemic. I got more that God is blessing for me now. I got more now than I've ever had. I got more peace. I got more time. I got more joy. I got more revelation. I got more revelation. You will never run out of strategies. You will never run out of ideas. You will never run out of money. You will never run out of resources. You will never run out of innovation. You will never run out. I wish somebody would put their business in the comments right now. Your business will never run out. Your establishment will never run out. Your organization will never run out. Your church will never run out. Your ministry will never run out. The devil is a liar. You will never run out. You're going to have more than you've ever had. You will have more than you've ever seen. You will never run out. You will never run out of resources. And you will never run out of strength. God said, I am advancing. I am advancing. I am accelerating your time. I am accelerating your miracle. You won't run out. Here it is, y'all. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, my God. So the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, uh, uh, and it came to pass. Watch this. We're going back. We're going back to Elijah. We're going back to 1 King 18, verse 43 and 44. The Bible says in verse 43, and he said to his servant, go up and look now. <laughs> look toward the sea. He went up and looked. He looked again, and he said, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 uh, Elijah told the prophet, go back and look again. Go seven times if you have to. Lord, help me in here. Go seven times if you have to. Father, help me to preach this. Go seven times if you have to. Keep on going back. <laughs> Keep on looking. See, the problem with many of us, uh, you get this close to your miracle and you stop going. You get this close to your breakthrough. You get this close to your you get this close to your healing. I'm preaching better than y'all sharing. You get this close to your healing and then you stop. Mm. You get this close to it. And then all of a sudden you say, ain't nothing happening. I ain't gonna go back. He told his boy, he said, go back he said, go back seven times if you have to. Keep going back. Don't you stop because you ain't saying nothing. You keep going back. You keep showing up because God says it's going to be there. And so you got to keep showing up until they get there. 
Oh my God. He said, keep showing you got to be in the place where God says for you to be. If God says it's going to be there, you got to, you cannot be where you want to be and expect to see God. You got to be in the place where God says so that you can see God. You can't do it your own way in this hour. You can't do it your own way in this per in this place right here. You can't do it your own way in this space. But God says, wherever I tell you to go, you better go. God says, wherever I tell you it's going to be, that's where it's going to be. God said, if I told you it's going to be right there, show up until it show up. Oh, stay there until it show up. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm going to stay there until God bring it up. I don't know about nobody else. I will lay there until God manifest it. I don't know about nobody else, but ain't no give up in me. I will stay there until I see it. I will keep going until I see it. You got to be like that woman in the scriptures. You get to be like that woman in the Bible. In the gospel, the Bible says that she kept on showing up. That that, that widow woman kept on showing up until she wore down that unjust judge. That unjust judge was a heathen. He was an unbeliever. She was a believer and she kept on showing up because she made up in her mind. One of us ain't one of us going to give up and it ain't going to be me. She made up in her mind. One of us going to bow down, but it won't be me. She made up in her mind. One of us going to tap out and it won't be me. Oh, I break that tapping out spirit in the name of Jesus. You will not get this close to your miracle and then tap out. You will not get this close to your breakthrough and then tap out. You won't get that close to your healing and then tap out. We break that tap out spirit in the name of Jesus. We break the neck of fatigue. Oh my God. We break the neck of fatigue in the name of Jesus. You will not tap out. Ah, oh, but you going to wear that demon out. You going to wear it out. My God, because the devil know he can't stop it. The only thing he can do is to try to get you to tap out. Ah, oh, but you going to get you some stick to it in your spirit. You going to get you some gangster in your spirit. And you will not tap out. I need somebody to declare. I will not tap out. I will not tap out. Matter of fact, I'm going to choke every demon out. Put that devil in a chokehold. And don't you let go. You better get you some water or shy. Perseverance like Dejah, like, like Jacob. He held on. Even when the angel, he wrestled with God. Even when the angel caused pain to go in his hip. Jacob said, I will not let go until you bless me. I will not let go until I see my whole family saved. I will not let go until my whole body is healed. Not just feeling better. Not just having a good day. But I will not let go until that thing is annihilated. Until that thing is wiped out. I will pursue my enemies and overtake them. And I will not stop until it's obliterated. I wish I had somebody that would hold on like Jacob. I will not let go until you bless me. I didn't get up to fail. I didn't get up to quit. I didn't get up to go back. I didn't get up to die. I will not let go until you bless me. Until you bless me, watch this. And so here it is. He said, keep going seven times. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep on praying. Keep on praising. Keep on believing. Keep on fasting. Keep on holding on. Keep on believing God. Keep on trusting. Keep standing. Woo! Keep standing. Keep standing. Woo! Keep standing. Yes, I. Keep standing up. Keep standing up. Oh, keep standing up. You got to keep standing up. You've been laying down. You've been laying down. You've been giving up. Oh, but you're going to stand today. We put strength back in your legs. We put strength back in your body. We put strength back in your spirit. You ain't going to bow down. You will not give up. You will not yield. You will not submit. You will not give in to the lies of the enemy. You will not give in to the intoxication of failure. You will not give in to the seduction of less than enough. You will not give in. Ah, oh, but you're going to stand up. Stand up, woman. Stand up, man. Stand up, prophet. Stand up, apostle. Stand up, creator. You better stand. Having done all you can do, you better stand. The race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but he that endureth, you got to stand. Your miracle is on the way. You got to stand. Come on, yeah, shy. 
says in 1 Kings 18, verse 14, the Bible says, and it came to pass, who said, uh, uh, at the seventh time, mm, it came to pass in July, y'all don't know what it shall, it came to pass in the seventh month, it came to pass on the seventh time, it came to pass in the time of completion, it came to pass in the dispensation of completion, it came to pass that he went, yes God, that he, that he said, behold, now whenever you see behold in scripture, that means that the writer is saying, the writer is setting you up, the writer is saying, hold on, brace yourself, because something getting ready to happen. Whenever you see behold in scripture, that means that the writer is setting you up, because something getting ready to happen. That means the writer is saying, hold on, you better brace yourself, because this thing, oh, we coming in hot. That means that the writer is saying, Woo my God, you better brace yourself, brace yourself for impact, brace yourself because something getting ready to happen. <laughs> My God, brace yourself because I'm getting, ooh, my, so I'm getting ready to show up. Whenever you see behold in scripture now, that means that the writer is saying, hold on, brace yourself because something big that you did not expect is about to happen over the next few words. The writer is saying, hold on, oh my God, somebody better prophesy. You better prophesy to yourself. Don't you know that God is setting you up? God is saying, hold on, brace yourself because something getting ready to manifest. Hold on, ooh, Brace yourself, because I'm getting ready to happen. Hold on. Brace yourself. My God, cause this thing about to be big. Hold on. Brace yourself, because it's bigger than you expected. Hold on. Brace yourself. It's going to take your breath away. Hold on. Hey. Brace yourself. It's bigger than what you prayed for. You prayed for one thing, but God said, behold. You asked for one thing, but God said, behold. You petitioned for one thing, but God said, behold. Behold. You asked God for one thing, but God said, Behold. You said, God saved my son, but God said, Behold. I'm going to save him. I'm going to save his friends. I'm going to save your nephews. I'm going to save every man in your family. You asked God just for a house, for somewhere to live, but God said, Behold. I'm going to give you the house of your dreams. You asked God for a raise, but God said, Behold. I'm not just going to give you a raise. I'm going to create a position that ain't even been posted. I'm going to put your DNA on it. I'ma put your scent on it and I'ma say it's yours. I'ma say, yeah, I'm gonna shy. You didn't even apply for it. You didn't even know it's about to be posted. But God said, get ready for a behold. Get ready, Rita, for a behold. Get ready for a behold, Lisa. Get ready for a behold, Sears. Get ready for a behold, Rhonda. Get ready for a behold, Tanisha. Tori, get ready for a behold. Corey, get ready for a behold. Murray, get ready for a behold. Joshua, get ready for a behold. Marcus, get ready for a behold. How y'all gonna shot Tuesday? Baby, get ready for a behold. God said, behold. It's getting ready to happen. Rabbi Mohoshaya. It's getting ready to manifest. It's getting ready to pop off. Behold, I will do a new thing. Behold, forget about the old things. Forget about the former things. Don't consider the things of old. For I'm doing a new thing. And now it shall spring forth. Behold, hold. Let me go back to my scripture. Hold up. <laughs> Let me go back to my scripture. The Bible says, <laughs> Behold, <laughs> go over to God. Verse 14, Isaiah, 1 uh, 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 King 18, verse 44. The Bible says, Watch this, y'all. The Bible says, And behold, it came to pass on the seventh time, that there ariseth a little cloud. <laughs> it wasn't even a big cloud. Lord have mercy. Y'all know you look up in the sky and you see how big the clouds are. The, the clouds can, can, can span for miles, right? You look up, look up in the sky and the clouds can span for miles. He said, behold, he looked up. Watch this, y'all. He looked up and arise. There was a little cloud. <laughs> there was a little cloud. Lord have mercy. The size of a man's hand arising out of the sea. See, we discount little stuff. Mm -hmm. We discount, uh-huh, uh, oh my God. We discount the little stuff. We discount that, yeah, because we say, uh-uh, it, it, it can't be, no, nah, uh, God can't be in that little thing. We we, we discount that. Uh, but my Bible said in Job 8 and 7, uh, though your beginning was small, yet your latter end will greatly increase. Who? <clears throat> though your beginning was small, yet your latter end will greatly increase. See, we, see, we, we discount little things, right? Uh, but, but don't you know uh, that when a farmer is, is, is planting a seed, a seed never, they don't plant the seed the size of a harvest. 
the, the, the apple seed ain't as big as the apple tree. Mm. The apple seed ain't as big as the apple tree. The apple seed ain't even as big as the apple. So you can't, oh my God. You thinking all you looking for is the big things. But God says, I'm going to do my God. I'm going to send a big miracle in a small package. Now see, baby, don't you miss your blessing now. Don't you miss God waiting on something huge. Don't you miss God thinking that it's going to come in a big truck. Don't you miss God thinking that it's going to come in a big box. Don't you miss God thinking that it's going to come the way you want it to come. Don't you miss God thinking, Ruby Kabashaya, thinking that it got to look a certain way. God said, I'm going to do a big miracle in a small package. Now watch this. The Bible says that there arises a cloud the size of a man's hand. Now it ain't been no it ain't been no rain. It ain't been no dew. It ain't been no clouds. There has been no moisture. There has been no humidity. There has been nothing that even look like moisture. There has been nothing. But all of a sudden, here comes a cloud. Oh my God. Will somebody prophesy over your life? Here comes a cloud. There is a cloud coming my way. Will somebody prophesy over your life? Get that in your spirit. Here comes the cloud. Oh my God. Will somebody just decree that over your life? Oh my God. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's cloudy over my life. It's cloud. Here comes the cloud. Here comes the cloud. Y'all don't know when to shout. Here comes the cloud. Here comes the cloud. Because God had to let Elijah know. God had to let Elijah know it. God had to let the servant know. Don't you miss me looking for something big because you have to understand oh my god the power of the cloud you have to understand the power of the cloud you have to understand what the cloud represents the cloud represents the glory Oh my God, so you ready for you ready for a shout? You ready for a dance? You ready for a two-step? You ready for a holler? But God said, I'm gonna send the cloud because that's where the glory is. I'm gonna send the cloud. Your miracle is gonna be in the cloud. I'm gonna send a small cloud. And that small cloud gonna bring forth my God so much rain. That small cloud gonna bring forth so much dew. That small cloud gonna bring forth so much. That small cloud, my God in heaven, it's gonna saturate the land. That small cloud uh, is going to defeat the drought. That small cloud uh, is going to end the drought. That small cloud, uh, uh, there comes a cloud uh, the size of a man's hand. Uh, and the Bible says that the prophet told him, go up. Uh, God said, uh, unto, unto, go, that, that the prophet, uh, said, and he said, go up, said Ahab, uh, prepare thy chariot uh, and get down for here before the rain stop. And the Bible says, the Bible says in verse 45, the Bible says, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens grew black, the heavens grew dark with the clouds and the wind, and there was a great rain. Ahab rode and he went to Jezreel, but the hand of God, my God, I believe that the cloud calls forth a supernatural manifestation over Elijah's life. The Bible says that the hand of God in verse 46, first came. 18 and verse 46 the Bible says that the hand of God was upon Elijah the hand of God came upon Elijah and the Bible says that he girded up his loins and Elijah ran down my God before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel now watch this Ahab had chariots and horses Ahab had chariots he had chariots and he had horses horses can run up to 40 miles an hour horses can run Run up to 40 miles an hour. That's average of speed that a man can run on a good day, maybe seven to eight miles per hour. Y'all don't know when to shout, but the Bible says that when the glory of the Lord appeared in the sky and the hand of God came up on Elijah, the power of God was so great, the power of God was so strong that Elijah outran the horses. Y'all don't know when to shout. The Elijah outran the chariot. He outran the horses and God said get ready because when my glory comes upon you, when my power comes upon you, the very thing you ain't got the strength to do, you will be able to do it in record, record breaking epic strength. You will be able to do it in the glory. You will be able to do it in the supernatural. My God in heaven, when the power of God come upon you, what should have taken you 12 years to get done, you will get it done in 12 days. When the power and the glory of God comes upon you, God said, I accelerate your miracle. I cut the time in half. I cut the time off. When the power of God and the glory of God comes upon you, can't no devil in hell stop it. Can't no devil in hell block it. When the power of God comes upon you, can't no devil block you. Can't no devil defeat you. I wish I had somebody that would open up your mouth because God is getting ready to do something in your life that should have taken you years to finish. But God says, get under the glory. The glory of the Lord will cause you to do it in half the time. 
in the, a portion of the time, the glory of the Lord will cause you to walk in it in a portion of the time. It won't take all of that because the glory of God shall be your strength. It won't take as much effort because the glory of God shall be your aid. It won't take all of that because the glory of God shall be your defense. It won't take all of that. My God. So what other people doing, you can't compare your life to nobody else because God is doing a glorious thing in your life. Don't you look at other people and desire what they got because they ain't got what you got. You got the power of God on your life. You got the glory of God over your life. You got the cloud of God manifesting and hovering over your life. They need all of that, but you don't need it because you got God. You don't need it because you got God. And God says, whatever you need, whatever you got in your hand, put it in my hand and watch me multiply. Put it in my hand and watch me work it out. Put it in my hand and watch me deliver it. Put it in my hand and watch me perform it. Put it in my hand and watch me do it. Put it in my hand and watch me heal it. Put it in my hand and watch me do it. I decree and declare supernatural strength upon you woman. Supernatural strength upon you man. I decree and declare your strength. Yes God is going to a new place. I declare you will not suffer lack. You will not suffer defeat. You will not suffer a loss. You will not experience failure. You will not experience a famine. You will not experience a drought. You will not experience a pain. You will not experience heartache. You will not experience lack. You will not experience defeat. You will not experience pain. In the name of Jesus, you cannot
God is running. God is running your miracle. Your answer is running in your house. Your answer is running in your house. Your answer is running to 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 your house. This ain't the time to give up. Your answer is running to your house. Oh my God. Your answer is running. And it's running fast. It's running smooth. It's running quicker than the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Your answer is running to your house. Your breakthrough is running to your house. Run. My business is running. Up and running. Up and moving. Up and growing. I need more space. I'm running out of space. I'm running out of room. Because the miracle of the Lord has opened up and overtaken me. I'm running out of room. I need more space. I need more space. I need more space. screen. Y'all know what to do. Put the ways to give in the screen. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. Cash app or LatriceRyan.com. Ways to give. That's it right there. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. Ways to give. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. <laughs> LatriceRyan.com. And when you sow that seed, you're going to tag it run. <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. You're going to tag it run. Everything that's yours is running to you. You're going to tag it run. Run. I'm running out of room. I need more space. I'm running out of space. <laughs> I'm running out of stuff. I need to hire more people. I need more warehouses. I need more storehouses. He shut out a boko robo. Ribika mama masiko robe karaba. I'm running, 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 running. What God gave me to do, I'm running with it. I may not be the most qualified, but I'm running. <laughs> I may not be the, the most aesthetic, but I'm running. I, I, I may not have what they have, but I'm running. It don't even matter. I'm running so much, I don't even see what they got because I'm running. I'm running with what God gave me. I'm taking it out of my hand. I'm putting it in his hand, and I'm running. Whoo, ya I'm taking it out of my hand. I'm putting it in his hand, and I'm running. I'm running with what he gave me. I'm running with it. I'm no longer bound. I'm no longer afraid. I'm no, lo no longer fearful. I'm running. I'm running with it. Because God is for me. I'm running with it. Run. He's running the miracle. The breakthrough is running to your house in the name of Jesus. What you've been praying for, it's running. It's running to your house. What you've been standing for, it's running in your house. The miracle that you've been wanting to see, it's running to your house. And I'm running with it. LatriceRyan.com. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. LatriceRyan.com. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. Y'all, we have been in an amazing teaching in KSI, Kingdom Sniper Institute. We have been in an amazing teaching in Kingdom Sniper Institute. This is our mentoring. This is the opportunity for us to grow, for us to learn. I am teaching and the people of God are receiving. They are eating and feasting and receiving. KingdomSniper.com to enroll now. Don't miss it. KingdomSniper.com. Enroll now. Don't miss it. KingdomSniper.com. KingdomSniper.com to enroll. Hallelujah. You said, I need to go. I need this training. I need this training to go to another, another dimension. I need this training to focus and to operate in accuracy. KingdomSniper.com. KingdomSniper.com. In the name of Jesus. If you're sowing that seed, remember, sow that seed and you tag it. You name it. Run. <laughs> you name it. Run. Because if every seed that leaves your hand never leaves your life, it's got to run back to you. It's got to circle back to you. It leaves your hand, but it never leaves your life. And so I take it out of my hand and I put it in God's hand and God run. 
give the angels assignments and run, 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 run. So they see if and only if the Lord lays upon your heart. If you do not know the Lord Jesus and you want to know him. If you do not know the Lord Jesus and you say today is my day that I run to Jesus. Today is the day that I run to Jesus. Today is the day that I run to Jesus. Lift up your hands and just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Save me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. The Bible says in Romans 10 and 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart. I accept you over my life as Lord over all. Save me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Whoo! And with your help, I know I can make it. I'll live for you all the days of my life. And just like that, you are saved. Run. Everybody type run, 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 run. run. Run, run, run. I'm running to Jesus. I'm running back to the altar. I'm running to the altar. I'm running to my master. I'm running to my savior. I'm running to my Lord. God lays upon your heart to sow that seed. Sow it. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. Run, tag it, run. Woohoo! Tag it, run. Dollar sign Latrice Ryan. Uh, Latrice Ryan dot com. Run, run, run. Ron, yes, Felicia, Ron, that's right, Poe, Ron, Ron, Cynthia, Ron, Teresa, <laughs> you better run, Teresa, you better run and don't you stop, you better run and don't you stop, mm, run with everything com coming up against you, run, run, <clears throat> I'm running in spite of everything trying to slow me down, but I'm running, <laughs> everything trying to hinder me, but I'm running, <laughs> everything trying its best, trying with everything it can to stop me, but I'm running, you better run, Teresa, you better run, Janelle. You better run, Darius. Run. Everything trying to stop me, trying to block me. But I'm a run. I'm running. I'm running with this. I'm running. God gave me the vision. I wrote the vision. I made a plan. I got a plan, and I'm running. I trust God. I got a plan. I got faith, and I'm running. I'm running with it. I'm running. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. LatriceRyan.com. I'm running. I'm running. You saw in that seat. I'm running. I am getting up out of fear. I'm getting up out of regret. I'm getting up out of I'm feeling sorry for myself, and I'm running. I am running. I'm running. Oh my God. And you're gonna run faster than you ever thought you could. You're gonna run faster than you even than you even could imagine. You're gonna run faster than that. God said, I've been waiting on you to run. I've been waiting on you to run. I've been waiting on you to run to me. In the name, Kim run. Shamika run. Shamika Katrina. You run. Run, Katrina. Run. 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 Lady Nee, run. Trinice, run. Keto, run, 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 Keto. <laughs> run, Keto, run. Ha! Run, 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 run. Christy, run. That's it. John, run. That's it, brother John. Run, 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 run. Shot. Taylor, run. Taylor Gerald, run. Run. I said it won't stop. To shower, run, run, run. Keisha, catch, run, run, run. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I trust God with this one. Oh my God. Keith said, I trust God. That's it, Keith. I trust God. I trust God. I trust God and I'm running. I trust God. Y'all, I ran. I promise you it did. I ran scared. Didn't know how it was going to happen. Didn't know what it was going to look like. Didn't know who was going to support. But I just started running. <sighs> I mean, and running didn't look back. Didn't know how it was going to work. Didn't know how it was going to come out. Didn't know how it was going to turn out. But I just kept on running. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I was just like you. I kept on running in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance. May all men call you blessed. We seal this prayer with shalom. May there be nothing missing, broken, or lacking in your life. I am determined to run. God bless you. Bye-bye.